G.I. Joe will return after these messages. Back to G.I. Joe. Hello guys, I'm Indian Toy Gyani and today I will be reviewing Fun School Ripper, one of the members of infamous biker gang group Dreadnoughts. Dreadnoughts were a motorcycle group gang inspired by post-apocalyptic Mad Max movies. Ripper made his first comic book appearance in G.I. Joe, a real American hero issue number 25 along with Buzzer and Torch. Throughout the comics and even in animated series, Ripper, Buzzer and Torch were always shown together. <laughs> Shout! That's a good one, that is Buzzer! <laughs> Let's put these poor fish out of their misery! Let's look at his accessories first. All his accessories were painted in silver color. Starting with his primary weapon, according to the card content lists, it's an assault rifle with metal splinter. On top we see a scope and it has large blade attached like a bayonet. And... Ripper's next accessory is his power jaws with hydraulic hose. It's a single solid plastic piece. It has couple of grips and on top there is a peg for that hose. We see small holes here. This power jaws are molded after the jaws of life based on a real world rescue tool. To pry apart metal doors, this hydraulic hose is a black soft plastic standard hose which connects on the peg of the backpack. The card contents call this a power pack with frame. The backpack is made up of two separate pieces. There is an engine which is extremely detailed which is for power jaw and the frame has a couple of hooks on each side. Let's take a look at the Ripper closely. His head swivels left and right. He could lift his arm up at the shoulder and swivel at the shoulder. All the way around, he had a hinge at the elbow that allowed him to bend his arm at the elbow about 90 degrees. He had a swivel at the biceps that allowed him to swivel his arm all the way around. There is a O-ring inside which allowed him to move at the torso. He could move his legs apart about so far he could bend his leg at the hip about 90 degrees and bend at the knees about 90 degrees. In India, there were two distinct versions of Reaper released by Fun School. One which I am reviewing right now and other version has an all purple shirt known as Purple Reaper. It's very rare to find now. He is one of my favorite Dreadnoughts because he is so much of what his character is. He's really on him. He looks like a bad guy which will hurt you. Starting from his head, this bad looking dude has mohawk hairstyle and black beard. He has red glasses. Reaper literally looks at the world through rose color glasses. His face have a lot of wrinkles. 
looked at his torso ripper has shredded green shirt which looks similar to military camouflage pattern clothes His arms and bottom half shirt is ripped off. We can see his abs here. Around his neck, he has a gold necklace. On the right side of his chest, there are two small grenades molded on the left side of the chest there is a green strap goes over his shoulder continued to the back on the front of the belt there is a knife with a knuckle guard arms are bare he is having gold ring around his right bicep also he has rings on both hands on his vest he has light blue jeans has black belt with belt buckle on his right leg he has black pistol holster with a strap that goes around the right leg in the holster we see pistol painted in blue color glock maybe He is wearing tall black biker boots with stirrups. So that's all the time I have right now. Hit that like button and smash that subscribe button to see more fun school GI Joe reviews. Until then, it's Indian Toy Gyani signing off.